Good morning, Flo Bear. Who's out there? My sheeps. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Little Kaya lamb over there, always screaming. My beautiful flock. I've been watching them this morning and I'm observing some little rammy behavior. My little ram has started his mounting behavior. Good girls. Good morning. Oh, good morning. What a handsome boy. You like helping me on the farm? You're very good at it. Alright, let's go see what's going on. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. There's my little Pepper. Hi, Pepper. It's getting so big. Happy little duckies having their water this morning. Sold a few more ducks yesterday. I know what you're thinking. You're like, didn't make a dent. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're down about half the number of ducks that we started with in April when I hatched out 48. We are definitely down to about 24, 22 I think. So it still looks like a lot, but that's just because we have a lot of chickens in there. And also because it is a lot. <laughs> My little banties are out this morning. Look at these little bantam babes. They're so cute. Good morning. Good morning, duckles. Got three little roosters right here. There's a fourth one. Four little roosters. These are those booted bantams. They're called duckles or Belgian Danvers. The orange ones are called mill fleur, a million flowers, and you can see their feathers are coming in. Beautiful. Look at those millions of little flowers. This is Donnie. He's porcelain. He's a rare porcelain Danver. Yes, you're a rare porcelain duckle, huh? Yes, you are. That little chick drinking its water on the bucket. I found my own place to get water. <laughs> That's cute. There's Pepper. There's our Pepper and some little banties. What do we have here? That white fluffy one is Marshmallow. Next to Marshmallow is Nutella. Next to that, one of my Americanas. Hi, girls. So look at Pepper. He's changing so much. He's gotten really big. His black feathers are turning green. And he's got some nice stippling now on his neck, which I think means he's going to be a rooster. I think we got a rooster here. Sorry, Red. I think we got another rooster here. Yeah. Got some happy duckies here. Good morning, everyone. Oh, so happy. That drake with the green head is gorgeous. He's a classic rowan. And I had three classic rowan hens. So I took that drake because he's so beautiful. I wanted to give somebody a chance at raising him instead of just putting him in my freezer. So I posted him specifically, but him with three females on Craigslist last week. And I had one person who wanted just one hen and somebody else who wanted the other two hens and nobody wanted this guy, even though he was free. <laughs> so 
Coco. Sorry, we tried. We tried. He's going in the freezer. Unless by some miracle someone reaches out and says they need a drink. Which was never the case. I've got my drake. Here he comes. Reginald. So handsome. Keeping two drakes this year. Reginald, my original. And this guy right here in the middle with the white band. Do you see this guy? Look at that. He's beautiful. Classic apple yard with the nice auburn breast and the white line on his neck and the light gray coloring and the dark tail. He's kind of perfect. He might even be a more beautiful specimen than his father, who's right next to him right there. There's Reginald. So, keeping two drakes. This gorgeous boy right here is staying. Yeah, probably gonna name him Hunky Daddy. Hunky Daddy. Hunky D. So hunky. <laughs> and of course I'm gonna keep some apple yard hens. Got two of them right there. Beautiful girls. Got one over there. Beautiful. Love those apple yards. Really nice duck. Oh, my two boys side by side. Oh, not that guy. You're going in the freezer. Let's see who else is up and out. There's Macy. Hi, Mace. It is so muddy out. We got a huge rainstorm the other night. Hi, Dolly. Such a pretty girl. My little Dolly duck. Huge rainstorm, and it just kind of washed out all the grass. Let's see who's out here. More bantams? More of my little Americana chicks? Hi. Oh, there's lovey dovey. This little girl is so sweet. My porcelain duckle hen. You're beautiful, lovey. Macy, there's a feather on your head. Macy, there's a little feather on your little head. You're so cute. You're so cute, Macy. All right, and let's just see what little Mama Red Star's up to. Mama Red Star, what are you doing today, huh? Taking your chicks around, looking for bugs? Good girl. Good girl, Mama. Little Bear, are you chasing a chicken? No, he would never. All right, there they go. They're gonna go have a fun day looking for bugs. Oh my gosh, so cute. She's got things to do. Clearly, she knows what she's doing. She's been back here before. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, hi. Okay, she's going after Flo Bear. She didn't like that he walked by her chick. <laughs> Did he scare your chickies? Oh, Mama, you're okay. One little rooster stuck on the wrong side of the fence over here. One of Lottie Dottie's babies from this spring. What are you doing over there? Oh, Lovey's following us over. Hi, Lovey. Are you following us? Let's open this gate. Oh, we got a whole bunch of panties over here. My little silky babes. Hi, silkies. Good morning. Pom pom! Look at little baby Gil! Oh my god, that one looks just like Gil. I never had Gil as a baby. I got him when he was an adult, but I guess if he was a baby, if I had to guess, that's what he'd look like. And you're just the handsomest little banty right here. Oh, the chickens are feeling good today. We're fluffing ourselves in the sunshine. Huh, lovey dovey, gonna chase some bugs. Yeah, it's a fun day. It's fun to be a little tiny bantam hen.
So they're almost full grown. They are pretty small. Bantams do not get big. I had someone comment once when they saw my bantams that there was a pigeon in my coop. It's not a pigeon. It's a chicken. They're just about the size of pigeons. They're pretty small. They do not get much bigger than a pound. One pound. So if you're thinking about raising heritage birds and you think, oh, bantams, smaller, cuter. They're great as just like a little foraging bird. They're great running around the yard. They're ornamental, but they're not great for putting in the freezer. They're too small. Not worth it. They tend to go very broody, which is why I like bantams. I use an incubator to hatch out my eggs every spring, but this coming spring, 2022, my plan is to use all of my bantam hens. I'm just gonna have them separated, some little nest box areas, nice and comfy for them. And my females will go broody and they'll just hatch the eggs for me. They'll turn them three times a day. They'll monitor their humidity, their heat, and they'll hatch them for me. Oh my gosh, they're gonna take little, little sun baths. Little baby Gail, you taking a sun bath? Yes, we love the sunshine. Birds love to preen in the sun. There he is. There's a handsome rooster. All right, guys. What a beautiful day. It's warming up. Enjoy the sunshine. Have a great Wednesday. I love you. Come on, pups. Let's go.